Chapter 1 Nicola was busy, preparing food for a very special picnic. She was ready to meet her old school friends, Ellie and Maya. They hadn't seen each other for a long time, as they settled down into their professional jobs in London. Nicola was a 28-year-old lawyer, and she loved to cook. She was preparing the food for the picnic. Sandwiches with a special Greek twist. She was also preparing all the snacks and the alcohol. They were going to make a day of it. The three friends had agreed to meet in a park in the middle of London. Nicola carefully placed the sandwiches inside the hamper before setting off to catch the underground. She looked at herself in the window reflection, adding the finishing touches to her makeup. She finally made it to the park. Ellie was waiting for her at the gates. Ellie! You made it! Nicola! How are you? I've really missed you. The two of them embraced each other in a very long hug. We have so much to talk about. Where's Maya? She's running late as usual. Shall we set up then? Ellie nodded, and the two of them walked into the park to find a spot. They found a nice spot under a willow tree next to the lake. Here will do. Did you bring the blanket? Ellie opened her bag and rolled out the picnic blanket as if it was a fine Persian rug. Oh wow, amazing. Well, I have the food. I can't wait. I am so hungry. Nicola opened up the picnic hamper. I made the special sandwich you requested. No dairy, like you said. Before Nicola could hand it to Ellie, Maya arrived. Ah, found you. <laughs> You've picked a nice spot. Maya! So good to see you. Yes, it's been so long. Ugh, it's been crazy. Well, I'm glad you're here with us. I was just about to dish out the food. Excellent! I'm so hungry and we have so much catching up to do. Last time I saw you, Nicola, you had just finished law school? Wow, it's been a while then. That was almost a year ago. Nicola started dishing out the food. Maya started pouring the drinks. Have you got my gluten-free food? Yes, don't worry. I packed that too. Nicola? looked into the picnic hamper. She had split up the food into sections to avoid confusion. Reaching in, she handed the food to the girls. Oh, thank you. I am so hungry. The sun was shining down on a beautiful summer day as the three of them tucked in, laughing and cheering, catching up. So, Nicola... How is it being a lawyer? Have you helped send down any criminals? Oh, it's great, but a lot of work and a lot of stress. I don't do criminal law, Ellie. I do civil. It's not as interesting, but for me it's fun. I help settle parking fines and things. Oh, that sounds mundane to me. No, it's loads of fun. It's crazy what people can get away with in court. I will take your word for it, because I know nothing about it. So how's teaching? Are the students giving you hassle? Yeah, it can be a nightmare, but at least I get the six weeks off to re-energize. I had this student who just caused trouble all year. I am glad that they're gone now, but it's been so stressful, and the move out hasn't helped. Oh, yeah, are you all settled in now? Yeah, finally. I finished moving things last week. Michael helped, too. What about you, Maya? What's your job again? Oh, I prefer not to talk about it, but it's going okay. Uh, anyone for more drink? Maya served up more drinks, and they continued chatting away. The afternoon turned into evening. The sun started setting. <coughs> Ellie's boyfriend rang up. <coughs> Oh, hey. Yeah, we're just in the park. I think we'll be here a bit longer if you want to come along. 
Maya and Nicola were laughing at each other's stories in the background. Hours passed. Day turned to night. Michael had joined the now pretty tipsy group. They lay underneath the sky staring at the stars. Suddenly they saw something. Something that looked a little odd. What's that? Is that a meteorite? I don't know. I didn't see anything. <laughs> Did you see anything, Ellie? Oh, I don't know. My stomach is killing me. Oh. Oh, excuse me. And that's why your nickname was always Smelly. It's been a good catch up. Get home safe. The four of them went their separate ways, going home in the dark. Nicola was sure she saw something fall from the sky, but she wasn't sure what. It was plain on her mind. Chapter 2 The next day, Nicola texted her friends, asking if they had got home okay. Ellie was the first to reply, saying that Michael took her home, and she got home safe but her stomach was still playing up. It wasn't until the late evening before she heard from Maya who said that she got home fine. Nicola then posted in the group chat, asking when they could all next meet. After some debate, they all agreed on the next Saturday, this time to the club. Nicola used the time to scroll through social media and look up anything she could find about what she thought was a meteorite landing. She found nothing. So the day came around, and the girls got ready to meet up at the club. Nicola applied her red lipstick and put on her petite red coat. She set out off to meet her friends. It was a rainy day, and Nicola had got soaked on the way. She managed to get herself into the pub and find a table by the fire. Within a minute or two of her arriving, Ellie appeared and sat down with her. Well, I thought you'd be first here. Maya's always late, as usual. She's been acting weird lately. How so? Well, she refused to tell us about her job, and she's always slow to reply to me. Maybe she's got something going on at home. Yeah, maybe, but... Before she could finish, Maya arrived and pulled up a seat. Well, ladies, what are we talking about? Oh, nothing yet. I have just got here. I'll get the drinks in then. Before the girls had time to tell Maya their order, she was off to the bar to order. I hope she knows what we want. I'm sure she does. We've known her long enough. Maya returned with the drinks, placing them on the table and instantly picking up the first drink and drinking with speed. Someone was thirsty. What's the drink? I just asked for the nicest drink they had, because you guys are my best friends. Oh, that's so nice of you. <laughs> Cheers! Cheers! I tried to do some research into the meteor that I saw, but there's nothing online about it. I guess we were the only ones that saw it. Are you still going on about that? I didn't see anything. Did you, Ellie? Oh, God. Sorry, girls. I need the bathroom. Oh, no. She hurried off to the bathroom. I bet this drink has dairy in it. Did you check? It might do. I should have thought about that. Oops. I shall go see if she's okay. Maya got up and went to the bathroom. Nicola sat alone in a pub, waiting for a friend to come back. In the toilets, Maya was talking to Ellie. Ellie, are you okay? I'm just checking up on you. Yeah, I'm fine, but my stomach is all upset now. You should have told me what was in the drink before letting me drink it. I'm so sorry. Let me make it up to you. Do you fancy coming over to mine tonight? Yeah. That would be nice, since I might have to cut our time here short. That's understandable. I know how it feels. Sometimes my stomach goes all funny when I have gluten. It can leave me out of it for days. Anyways, I shall leave you be. Maya left the toilets and went back to talk to Nicola. 
she okay? Yeah, she's fine. She's thinking about going home and letting her stomach rest. Maya failed to mention that she had invited Ellie around hers later that day. Yeah, but we can continue. Another round of cocktails? Yes, why not? Later that day, after Maya was in her bedroom, brushing her frizzy hair, she heard the doorbell go. It was Ellie. Maya let her in out of the rain. Ah, Ellie, you made it! How are you? I'm better now, thanks. Thanks for letting me come round. <laughs> it's fine, it's what friends do. I'm here if you need. Now, if you'd like to follow me through... Ellie went into the living room and sat down on the sofa. Maya went into the kitchen to get snacks and drinks. Now here are some snacks and drinks. I think I owe you from what happened in the pub. Don't worry, no dairy in this food. And it's gluten-free. At that moment, Maya's stomach rumbled, and she started eating the snacks. Sorry, I'm so hungry. I'm going to start eating. Oh, thanks so much. <laughs> My stomach has settled down now, but it's still annoying for me. I just have to be really careful. Yeah, my stomach has been bad, too. I don't think Nicholas' picnic was gluten-free. I think she may have given us the wrong sandwiches. I think I got yours and you got mine. How could we make that mistake? <laughs> we were a little tipsy. <laughs> yes, we were. Maya cracked open a can of cider and started drinking. Ellie did the same. They turned on the TV and started watching Love Island. Maya got up and as she did so, she farted. Oopsie! Sorry. Cider makes me very gassy. <laughs> Gross! Ellie laughed it up. She could hear footsteps from the room above. They sounded very heavy. But before she could mention it, Maya came back in with some drinks. More drinks, Ellie? Are you sure? After what it's doing to you? Aw, oh, come on, let's drink a few more! Maya started drowning more drinks. She turned over the channel to watch another reality TV program. Ellie was starting to get bored. She was trying to resist the temptation to scroll on her phone. Oh, I like this one. Have you seen this one? No, I haven't. Oh, by the way, I thought the spare room in your flat was empty. It is. Oh, I thought I could hear footsteps upstairs. Uh, the floorboards creak by themselves. It's kept me awake a few times. Maybe the house is haunted. I'm not staying the night. I'll give it another ten minutes, then I will have to be off. Maya looked visibly disappointed by this, putting her cider down and getting up off the sofa. She went into the hallway and locked the door to the flat before going into the kitchen. Do you want another drink? No. Do you need some help cleaning up all this? No. I think I'll be off now. Ellie got up off the sofa and headed towards the door. As she walked over there, she saw a blue light coming from the kitchen. She could also hear a moaning and groaning. <laughs> Everything okay, Maya? Ellie walks into the kitchen to see a giant, nine feet tall alien, and what looked like a flattened version of Maya on the floor by its feet. Oh my god! What are you? Ellie started running to the door, but it was locked. She tried to run up the stairs, but a second alien blocked her path and started coming down towards her. She was trapped. We are the Slithine.